Hey guys, it's Shiragane, and today I'll be bringing you pet shops, tutorial, skills, and possible exploits to take advantage of. And now, right off the bat, when you see pet shop, you'll think that he's broken and hard to deal with and impossible, but really just throw that theory under the window, like out the window, and burn it, and just destroy it completely because that's just not true. Pet Shop is like one of the most overestimated characters. Like I understand Heritage of the Future, like he had overheads and sweeps and unblockables, but this is not Heritage of the Future and you can just shit in his face anytime you want because that's just how it is. And now just because he's a bird, you do not need to fly 50 feet above the ozone layer because the higher you are, the faster his stamina depletes. And this is his basic combos. They all hit stun. So again, you support your partner's primary target and by holding triangle you do throw icicles and they do go far farther than the regular icicles and they track way better as you can see because the icicles only go this far and that's not far enough sadly so the thing about um, pet shop is that he's hev heavily stamina dependent and you always have to keep an eye on it just always keep an eye on it and try to stay as far away as enemies to possible, but don't, don't, do not be afraid to go up all in their face and just throw a barrage. Yeah. And he gets broken if he's, like, the only way he's unbeatable is if as he's the last one standing and he enters final stand. That is the only reason where he's broken and untouchable because he has, um, speed boost, health boost, defense boost, everything. The whole nine. So now let's go with his skills. His R1 skill can be charged, and this is unblockable, and this does a lot of damage, but if someone were to touch it like that, which didn't happen for a reason, they would be frozen in place, but in final stand and in dual heat rush, he is unbeatable because he can spam his square and R1 skills, everything, and you can actually switch targets with the R1 skill. And yeah, those icicles that are on the floor are still dreadful. So yeah, he's that crazy. So if I push them into that, go. See, he's frozen now. I can just throw a hunk of ice at him. And he just does more, more damage. So you don't really have to go all the way up that high to fight. And he is a destroyer for some reason. I don't understand why. He should just put ice traps. But he can just go around the stage and do this just to fill up the meter for his partner. But he's just a supportive character. And he can block, by the way. Which is which is crap. He shouldn't be allowed to block. Because, yeah, it just ruins everything. And now with his O skill, this makes damage he receives, like, lesser. And Death 13 just came out of nowhere. He deserves to die. Fucking bastard baby. And it just makes his damage um, reduction higher. Like, he just receives less damage. So, his X skill makes him, let's say I'm about to run out of stamina. See, the higher you go, the faster it goes down. And I need an extra boost before I land. I just press X, the X skill. And I'll just go a higher altitude without wasting stamina. And that's generally it. His L2 skill is actually offensive, but it's the same way. So, let's go to Abdel and do it. Yeah, it's an uppercut, basically. If you're not afraid of going in their face. But don't be afraid to hold the triangle button. He doesn't have any unblockables besides his R1 skill. But... If you want to do it like that way... Yeah, see? Because they do, they have amazing tracking. Like, it's like broken. But... It does do like a 360 track to the point where it hits you from the back and does double damage. So again, I don't want to waste stamina for that. So I just go right at that. That's basically his jump, his air flying jump thing. And his stamina does recharge faster depending on how much stamina he wasted. So the slower his stamina got wasted, the slower it regenerate. But the faster it wastes, the faster it regenerates. So that can be exploited to the point of spam. So his R1. I fucking hate Death 13 at some points like this because he just gets in the way. Fucking ignorant bastard. And he's immortal, he cannot die. <laughs> and 
And really, the only way you should connect a DHA, really, is by surprise attacking your opponents. Um, yeah, just by surprise attack. Like, attack your opponent, um, your partner's opponent. And that's like the only way you can actually get into a DHA. Unless you somehow get them with this. Then go like that. That's the only way. I think I covered everything about Headshot. This is basically him. I didn't choose the Kairu rooftops because that's like the worst place for him. And that's really ironic. But yeah, that's just how it is. So yeah guys, that's Pet Shop. He is not all that, so do not be afraid of him. 